And hello, my name is Astro Gamer Steve. I have missed saying that. So, for the first proper video since my break, I thought I'd show you something I actually made about a year ago. And it's up on my Planet Minecraft account called The Astro Steve. I don't know why I didn't decide to take Astro Gamer Steve. I wasn't thinking about channel branding at that time. That was ages ago. So, before I knew, you know, anyone knew who I was or actually cared for that matter. So, these are the most compact combination locks in existence possibly uh, I mean look it is uh, oh, that's those things over there um, three blocks thick including the buttons and uh, the, the only downside is that you can't just push a few buttons on the back and customize your combination you can create your own combination but to do that you need to move the pistons around manually however these new designs are these uh, work from both sides they have an override control from the inside in the form of uh, these two buttons in the case of this one or some of them just have one button like this and you can open and close your door from the inside it's uh, basically uh, a master override control because if you're already on the inside then it's your door so you have more control from the inside it's very unlikely that someone is going to get in by random chance because all of these designs are 4 by 6 combination locks that is a lot of buttons that is 24 buttons and I did that maths on the spot I'm proud of myself and once the uh, lock is reset like I just demonstrated you can open the door walk outside close the door and it's locked again so someone would have to redo the combination lock now the system I came up with those was a little bit awkward to understand these you can download the MC edit schematics in the description and it's got signs here on the front which just show you how to open the lock for example that's the first button there uh, where's the second two so that is the second button there and then three is that one and four and five respectively behind there so yeah and some of them have a line next to them for example this one once you've done one and two three and four you'll have to press four quickly after pressing number three before number three has retracted uh, so that just makes it even more difficult to do the combination it makes it pretty much impossible that someone would get it by random chance and then you have to go back over here to five and of course it is completely survival friendly which is unlike most of the stuff I do because generally I find creative stuff to be more fun because I can make it more complicated but uh, I could just couldn't pass up this idea I mean look at it so as you can see I've got six designs uh, ready made here for you to download in the description but you can make your own designs as well really all this is is a series of pistons that moves a block around so if I go back to the first one where there's no uh, there's no ones where I have to press them quickly then I'll be able to press them one by one and show you what's going on behind them so here is how you'd go about actually creating one yourself you just need to reverse engineer uh, how the pistons are going to work with your brain and uh, if you've got a logical mind uh, then it's not actually that hard so you just need to press this piston to pull the block into there that's a sticky piston so that would pull it up to there then this piston would push it over to there that sticky piston would uh, pull it into that position and then that piston would push it down into there and as you can see once there's a block in that position uh, like this for example that redstone is not powered anymore so neither of these pistons are powered and the door will retract and of course resetting it uh, is uh, basically let's say the block has been uh, moved around and the lock's been unlocked what I'd need to do is press that button then that button and it would pull the block away and the door has shut now if I just uh, pull that piston down out of the way then it's reset and of course when you actually put these designs to use you will want to destroy this password wall at the front here so that you're the only one who knows the password uh, they come with the password walls in the schematic so that you can uh, memorize the password yourself but then delete the password wall because you don't want anyone else to know the password that's why it's a it's a password 
So uh, that's about it. Uh, these are the smallest, most compact, simplest uh, locks possible in survival Minecraft, to my knowledge. It's very primitive technology, it's just a bunch of pistons, but I think it is the smallest possible kind of uh, com um, combination lock. If I'm wrong, as always, just tell me in the comments, uh, prove me wrong, please do, because if you can find a better solution than this, then congratulations, you're a genius. So. Um, Otherwise, my name's been Astro Gamer Steve. You've been watching this video, and I will see you next time.